beginning this fall, a local school named after Nathaniel Rochester will get a new name. Rochester founded this city in the 1800s, but his legacy as a slave owner sparked a cry for change. And tonight, the school board made it happen. Alex Love joins us from school number three in Rochester tonight. Alex, what happened here? The school board approved a move to rename the school after Dr. Alice Young. Young left her mark in local education at all levels, bridging the gaps on racial inequality in the classroom. The school board approved the name change, but only after an unexpected last minute objection from some students and staff. During public comment, they voiced their disappointment in the proposed name change, believing they were kept out of the loop on the process. Students at the school had previously voted to rename the school after Harriet Tubman or Dr. Mae Jemison, the first black female astronaut. Our students put time and thought into these decisions, and I ask that these two names be considered. It was very unfair and inconsiderate for us not to have a voice to speak about the selection that we had came up with, and I felt like Harriet Tubman was also a very good choice. In response, some board members suggested the vote be tabled until September to educate the community on Dr. Young's legacy. Maybe they don't know about Dr. Alice Young. And maybe if we went to them and told them about the powerful legacy of this woman, at every level, they would see the connection. But the motion to table the vote was rejected, much to the relief of those who argued the name change couldn't wait any longer. To do that in September is just absolutely ludicrous to me. We spoke to Dr. Alice Young about the decision. She expressed extreme gratitude. I am truly, truly humble and appreciative for such an honor. What can I say? I know I've always believed that the value of an education was instilled in me by my parents. And a little bit more about Dr. Alice Young. She helped establish the Urban Suburban Program in Education more than 50 years ago. Also one of the founding trustees for Monroe Community College. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. All right, Alex, thank you. Reporting from the district office there. By the way, I interviewed Alice Young about three years ago. Wonderful person beyond being the pioneer that we know she is. You can find that interview over at rochesterfirst.com.